Okay, hello again. And before you um, ask, I'm just going to say that uh, this is not part five of Armin's Prophecy. Um, as promised, that's going to be coming up this Saturday, and that'll be coming from Yellowhelix's channel. Now, what I'm doing right now is I'm doing a little thing called um, uh, RPG lessons or something. Uh, or, um, and basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a, uh, a lesson on the basics of, um, for you who don't, know, who don't play RPGs much or um, just who are interested in getting into RPGs. Um, this series of videos are basically going to be like mini tutorials on various um, aspects of RPG gameplay. And uh, I decided to make the first episode of RPG Lessons to be on the subject of grinding. And uh, there's a couple of reasons why I want to do this one first. The main reason is basically because it's the most opportune. Um, I have not yet uh, ground grinded up my characters on Arms Prophecy. Um, because uh, if you remember from yesterday, um, the last video that I uploaded, I ended with um, me promising that I was going to go and grind. And then after I was done grinding, I was going to send the save file to the other and she was start from there. However, um, I decided that I'm not going to grind um, off screen this time like I normally do. In fact, I'm going to give a sort of behind the scenes look at grinding um, by actually making a video of me grinding with Arms Prophecy. And uh, I'll show you how grinding works. And uh, you will also be able to uh, get a, a little. Um, BTS look at the uh, making of these videos. Basically, when uh, Yelhelek and I make these uh, Armin's Prophecy videos, what we do is that we just play, we, they, we email the save files to each other when we're done. But uh, usually, um, when we're done playing, we usually, um, not recording, we'll usually um, grind a bit. So, like if, um, right now, um, I am trying to get all the gear and, you know, optimize all my gear in this uh, shop here, get all the weapons and armor that I can get. And what I normally do is, uh, I would do all that work, um, you know, which is not that interesting to watch, um, off camera. And then I would just send the, uh, and then I'll go back to where I was and just send uh, the save file to her. And so she'll have enough gear and, uh, and um, equipment and uh, stuff that she won't have to grind herself. And so a lot of the grinding, which is basically what grinding is, is where in an RPG, you have uh, basically levels. So if you're right now, we are at level 17, and as you level up, you get better at the game. Basically, your fighting abilities, your um, effectiveness at magical spells, and other things, just your endurance, that kind of thing, gets better. And to level up, you have to earn experience points, which are usually earned through fighting enemies. So. And uh, grinding is basically where you spend a, uh, a lot of time not playing the main quest or, you know, progressing in the story, but just wandering around, fighting enemies for experience points and loot, like gold and food, and uh, you can grind, grinding for gear basically means that you would grind for some loot, um, get, so basically you keep grinding by fighting enemies and get enough money to buy the loot you need. And um, once you're ready to progress in the story, um, that's when you start play really playing the game again. That's usually what we record. We record the main story. We don't record the grinding, because that's not very interesting. But I decided to take this opportunity, you know, to record the grinding. to record the grinding and give the uh, newcomers to the RPG genre um, a look at what this usually is. Okay. That's a black oak staff, which... Did we... Did I just buy her one of those? Yeah, I did. I will sell it for gold. And grinding is, is very important. You can't. It's something you cannot skip when you play an RPG. You just cannot skip grinding. Um, Greenwich Vineyard is up north. Um, we're not gonna, I'm not going to go into any new locations because I'm going to let her do that because I want the you know the story progression to be shown on camera like in the main series. As I said, this is not part five. This is just a part of a tutorial series I'm doing in RPGs, and I decided you know 
kill two birds with one stone, grind up and then send her the email file and just use that to make this video. And so yeah, it can be, it, it can feel tedious and a lot of older RPGs are very grind heavy, especially the early Final Fantasy games. Um, like the first Final Fantasy was pretty much, um, I would say 70% of your gameplay is going to be grind, and the other 30% is just progression you make. Because um, obviously, when we first started this game, when we were in the village of Elden, if we uh, just left that town um, and went to the mainland and headed over here, the uh, those enemies would have completely paced with us. We would not have been able to survive them. We're not strong. So what you want to do is grind. To earn yourself experience points, which will go to levels. After you earn enough experience points, you uh, you level up. And then you become stronger and more effective. And Yeah, what's going to happen is we're going to... Sometimes those wizards, they don't hack right away. And so later on, as you're wandering, they suddenly heal their attacks. I'm not sure if that's going to happen now. If, so, if some fire suddenly rains on me, it means that uh, there was a delay. It's a weird glitch, but... But no, it would have happened by now. And we just got 12 experience points. And a normal thing for RPGs is that uh, after you level up, the amount of experience points you need to um, <clears throat> get to the next level increases. So basically, the amount of grinding you do to get to level 2 is shorter than the amount of grinding it takes to get to level 3. And it gets longer and longer each time. See, it's just 64 gold. These enemies don't drop gold very much. And that's another thing. Sometimes uh, enemies do not drop a lot of loot, which means you have to spend even more time grinding. One thing that I do in almost all RPGs I play, especially classic ones, is that whenever I go to a new town, like, um, for instance, uh, in my last video, we just made it to Paris. Every time I make it to a new town, I make sure that before I ever leave that town, like we make any progress, um, I don't leave that town until I've optimized on gear. Um, so basically, what that means is that we go to that town's weapons and armor and magic shops or whatever you what have you and see which of those things are an upgrade to what I have now and I get the better stuff and and I will I, no matter what happens I will not leave that town until I'm fully optimized even if all the story stuff and all the quest stuff in that town are finished and I'm ready to move on story wise I do not leave until I have all the equipment I need which of course is going to require grinding So, she has the Black Oak Staff and he has the Barbarian Sword, which means we're good on weapons. And uh, sometimes uh, enemies will drop loot you don't need, and that's a good opportunity to sell. So, let's see, what did we need for armor? Okay, he needed a light helmet. He has chainmail. Apparently, she can wield chainmail too. So I need to uh, grind for that. But we have enough to get a light helmet, which is an upgrade from the uh, the leather helmet, which uh, Devon has right now. So we, since we now have grinded enough for a hill, we buy one light helmet, and we go into the menu and equip the new helmet. And now he has a better helmet. 
and whatever gear you don't need, you can sell. And now, I usually try to check and see what do I need, how much I need. I need 324 to buy the chainmail I need to get her, um, <clears throat> a fully opt- to get my party fully optimized. And, uh, depending on how much money I, well, I have left over, um, after I buy that, I'll probably quit here and then send that save file to Yelena and let her begin. If I feel there's not enough money left over, I'll probably grind a bit more so she'll have a little bit more in it. I don't like leaving her high and dry when I, uh, um, when I, uh, send her the save file so she can continue where I left off. And, uh, she does the same for me. She will, um, usually leave me in a good spot. Now, level grinding may seem tedious to um, somebody who is not used to playing RPGs, people who are used to more quicker paced games, but grinding is pretty much crucial for any RPG you will play. You'll need to know how to do it, and you'll need to do it. And uh, some RPGs, especially modern ones, have found ways to uh, make leveling up a little simpler. RPGs of the day tend to be a little less uh, <clears throat> grind heavy than a lot of these 16 bit classic ones. This game really isn't classic. It was actually came out 2004 and it was made in RPG Maker, but it's made in classic style. In fact, the game plays a lot like the Mana game, or uh, Hack and Slash. And obviously, during grinding, your, your health is going to go down as you uh, take it. And so every once in a while during grinding, you're going to need to rest. And Devin is now dead. And I, if you remember from my last video, I used the one and only Kasha Leaf I had in my possession, which means, of course, I would need to go buy one. And that's one of the downsides of grinding. One the snag you'll hit is every once in a while, you're going to need to spend money on uh, inns for resting and spend money on health items for your party. Or to replenish health items when you run out. Like in some video, video uh, RPGs that use, like, say, potions, um, you will need to uh, buy it. Uh, Although I think in this game, I'm not sure, but I think in this game you can actually sleep it off. I can't remember, let's find out. Nope, he's still dead. Most RPGs you can't sleep it off, and this is no exception. I'm not sure why I thought it was. So, it looks like we have to rest again. Good thing there's no cost. So let's go into the um, health item shop. And let's buy a cash over. I'm not going to use all those health items on him because there's no point. The inn does not, the, the, um, there's no inn to cost money. A lot of RPGs, the towns will have an inn, you need to spend so much gold to rest there. But since we're renting this apartment, we can sleep here anytime we want to. So now we're fully restored, and we still, um, what was it, 324 we needed? So we still don't have enough we need. So basically, yeah, that is the gist of grinding. There are other forms of grinding, and certain um, RPGs will level in different ways. There, um, no RPG is the same. A lot of them share common traits, but they all have their own unique traits. And so, level grinding is going to differ from game to game. 
Um, and there's, so then there's certain um, stats that you need to level up. Certain games have stats and others don't. don't. And, and we just, um, Devin is not class 18, so what happens when you level grind is typically you will get some new levels. In Armin's Prophecy, leveling is very simple. Um, you don't really level up traits, um, you just level up, um, one simple level. Basically, you're either level 1, 2, 3, 4, so on and so forth, or level 18. And when you level up, all your stats um, get a little better, like um, my ability to use magic increases, my um, how many health points. For instance, look, my maximum health point for Talia right now is 140. His are 150. When I level up to level 19, those are going to increase. The uh, my uh, my max health points will increase. The same thing with mana. Uh, mana is going to be your magic points. We haven't learned magic yet, but when we do, we're going to get a maximum amount of magic. Have. And when you level up, that will increase. That's another aspect to um, uh, level up. Your, and also other traits will, will increase. Defense will increase, agility, intelligence, all those certain traits that make up the character, those are going to increase. And that's how... Uh, and level grinding is a good way, if you're gonna about to fight a big boss or something like that, or an enemy that you don't feel like your level is currently equipped to handle, even with all the best equipment you can have on hand equipped, um, a good way to uh, deal with that is to level grind, and so that your stats will increase. And in some of the RPGs of the, of the Final Fantasy series, like Final Fantasy III, for instance, does this, and Final Fantasy VII does this, um, enemies will actually level up with you. So there are certain enemies in these games that will always um, have a, uh, a, a level that's proportionate to what you are, usually end bosses, like Sephiroth in Final Fantasy VII. Um, if you level up, he, when you, um, basically he's going to be tougher if your party's at level, let's say theoretically, you're at level 90. He will be, he will be a portion to that, but say you're, you, um, your party actually makes it to level 100. Um, he, um, for the level 90 players, Sephiroth will be a little weaker. Um, and that's just kind of, uh, extreme, that's kind of, that's not a more really accurate example, just because I don't think, um, Final Fantasy series don't have level numbers, like, you're not level 90, you're not a level number, it's really different. But that's basically what I'm trying to say, is that, um, certain enemies will... They'll always be proportioned to what you are. And, uh, and in those games, the only way to deal with those enemies is basically just to make sure that you have enough, uh, max hit points so that you don't run out. Um, in the first, um, of Final Fantasy, uh, if you do a lot of grinding, like a ton of grinding, um, the end boss get, be, tends to become sort of a pushover. And in this game, since unlike um, our, uh, Final Fantasy, where the fighting is random encounters that show up as you wander the map, um, here the enemies are just set on the map, and so you need to make them respawn. To do that, just enter a town or go to another location, and then they'll respawn. And so basically, each RPG is going to have a different approach to fight. And as you're already starting to see, when we take a beating from these enemies, our health bar um, decreases a little um, less than it has been, a lot less quickly. And that's going to happen as we level grind. And if we go back to the Devonshire area, our tape picking on those uh, goats and those dogs again, they will be a lot weaker. We'll pro we probably could even one hit hit them. Like one hit killed them, I mean.
However, the next area of the game is called Kandar, and in, in, even now in that area, those enemies are way overpowered for us to deal with right now, so hence level grinding. Usually when I play Armin's Prophecy, I usually get my characters up to level 10 before I even bother leaving Elder, which requires maybe an hour and a half of training. Ghost, but no cigar. We still need some more. Money. Now, for those of you who are finding this video absolutely fascinating, I'm glad you're liking it, and this will give you a look at, uh, you know, how grinding works. Lagging again. I don't know why it does this. I did this in the last video too. Hmm. Well, I can't seem to do anything about it right now. Um, I didn't save it either, so this thing doesn't start working again. I'm gonna have to do this all over again. However. I'm going to stop the video now, and I'm going to just let it kind of uh, you know, end here. What I was going to say was that, um, for those of you who find this kind of video boring, just just take it as differently. Approach it as a sort of a behind-the-scenes, you know, BTS kind of a thing. You know, sh shows what uh, Yelhalek and I are doing off-camera. Um, but yeah, this game completely froze on me. I don't know what the hell's going on. So, but that was my tutorial on grinding for our prophecy. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you found it enlightening. And I hope you have a good one. Bye. Okay, I returned, and this is not Armin's prophecy, obviously. Um, turns out when I stopped recording, uh, the, uh, the game stopped uh, freezing up on me, so I managed to finish up what I was doing without having to redo it. But anyway, I decided I would continue on with this whole thing about grinding with another game, and this is Final Fantasy 2. And the reason why I'm showing the grinding in this game is because the leveling system in this game is significantly different than it is in a lot of the other Final Fantasy games, and it's a lot different than it is in um, uh, Armin's Prophecy. Now in this game, you don't have, um, when you level up, you don't just level up everything at once. You level up only the skills you use. So right now, my, uh, my, uh, my warrior character, Furion, He's using a broadsword, and Maria is using a javelin, and Guy uses his fists. Now Guy just took some damage, and now he just took some more damage. As you can see, Guy and Maria aren't very good with um, their fists and javelin. Now he's been poisoned and took some more damage. Now we obtained 45 gil. Now, guys, stamina increased. Now, stamina is just your your own uh, ability. I think it's like endurance. Now I'm experienced sword level, shield level, and Maria's spear level, guy's axe level. Okay, he, apparently he's using an axe, not his fist. But anyway, um, those levels increased because they were using no weapons. 
Now, if I gave Maria a sword, um, and she used it enough times, her sword level would increase, but no, she would no longer have her spear, her javelin level, her spear level increase. Also, to uh, be able to uh, withstand damage, like level up your ability to take damage, you would have to take damage to do so. So basically, the only stats that level up in this game are the stats you use. Now, one um, way to, um, it's kind of a game breaking bug, but there is actually a really um, way to cheat and actually um, hasten your ability to endure, um, well, level up your endurance. You can actually have your characters turn on each other. And well, he's dead, so he's not gonna level up at all, but uh Let's try something different. Um Let's have our tech guy. And I'll just have him uh Oh, I don't know. I can't get him to stay there, so hopefully she attacks me. Uh, that did not work out the way I wanted it to. Um, you can't level up um, a dead character. Like, at the end of a battle, the character's dead, they won't level up. So, let's get some Phoenix down. Let's try this a little bit more professional. Let's go to an item shop. Oh, there we go. an item shop. Never mind. Uh, there's the item shop. Selling the Phoenix Downs. Another 500 to sell some stuff. Still What I was hoping to happen is basically, if you, um, if you're, uh, you know, obviously if it doesn't kill them, you can actually attack your own members to the point that they will, um, you know, level up their endurance. I guess, um, what I should say, you probably, I don't recommend doing that at an early level like these characters are. But in this game, basically what happens is that you level up by, um, each stat. And this is not unique to this game. A lot of other RPGs do this. Not many, but there's others that do. Um, Skyrim does this, for instance. And so Maria's strength increased. And so basically, just yeah, it's, it's uh, in some RPGs instead of leveling up your um, your levels, you know, just you know, every time you make a level, every all your stats go up. In some games, in some games, basically your levels will um, certain le certain stats will only increase based on their use. So say I have a character that um, has a sword and he also has. Um, I don't know, a, a, a fire spell and a blizzard spell. Now, he uses the sword a lot, and he uses the blizzard spell a lot, but he never uses the fire spell, like, at all. And so later on in the game, you meet an enemy that uh, is weak to fire, and 
who use that fire spell. Now, it will cause some damage, but it would not cause as much damage as it would if you had actually been leveling up that your fire spell skill. And that's basically how this works in this game. You basically level the skill you use, and the ones you don't use, they don't level up. And, uh, <clears throat> and the Elder Scrolls games have this kind of leveling system. And so, as I said, in, as I said earlier in the video, not all RPGs are the same. Um, some of them will have, uh, will level up just, you know, all, all your stats at once every time you get a level, which is very simple, which is what Armus Prophecy does. Or there are games where you have to, uh, level up, um, only the stats you use. And then there are some games like, um, uh, like, it's all the Bio, Bioware games, like, uh, Knights of the Public or Mass Effect. In those games, when you level up, you get a, um, a set of skill points that you can spend on certain stats. So say you level up from level 1 to level 2, and you are give, given 10 skill points, and you have certain skills, you have strength, you have your endurance, your agility, and basically you can spend those points in, in those certain, um, certain uh, stats. So if you uh, put all 10 into strength, you'll be very strong, but, you, but your, um, your endurance will be the same as it was in level 1, because um, you didn't put any points in it. So that's what a lot of the Bioware games. So when it comes to grinding um, for levels, it's important to know that uh, not all RPGs do it the same way. I'm just wasting time. I uh, I really want uh, to see if I can get Maria to actually hit someone. But no, she's really bad with that javelin. And my enemy just escaped. But yeah, her spear level increased because she used a spear. Which means now, in her next battle, she may have a higher chance of hitting someone. And that's because she was using a spear. Try hitting somebody again. Yeah, she's still not very good. But yeah, all in all, this was um, I hope um, I I hope um, for you an interesting um, look at um, for. Um, for beginners, I hope this is an interesting look at leveling and grinding in RPGs. And uh, these RPG lesson series, they're not going to be um, regular. I'm just going to do them when I have an idea. Um, so they won't. So I'll, every once in a while, I'll, I'll release one, but uh, they won't be regular. But yeah, this is episode one: grinding and leveling. And I hope you have a good one. Bye.